The Attribute Editor is where you edit a layer's settings. To add the layer to the Attribute Editor, you can either double click on them in the scene window, or you can simply drag them in. To clear the Attribute Editor, click the Clear button at the top. You can have multiple things in the Attribute Editor at the same time. When double clicking on a layer to add it, if you hold the ALT key, the Attribute Editor will be cleared before the new layer is added. To adjust a numeric value in the Attribute Editor, click in the box and drag. You can also use the up and down keys to change values. Hold SHIFT for larger increments. If you are adjusting a value in a row with child attributes, like scale or position, hold ALT to adjust both values at the same time. If you have more than one layer selected, you can edit their values at the same time. To do this, select more than one layer in the scene window, then scrub the attribute you want to change. If you let go without dragging, you can type a new value. Hit return to commit this. You can even write simple sums in here. You can pin a UI to the attribute editor. This means it won't go away when you hit the clear button. Some attributes have express workflows, such as the deformers. Click the plus to see a list of all deformers, and then click on the one you want to create. Most attributes have goodies in their right click menu. From here you can quickly connect behaviours or arrays to an attribute, or to just one child of an attribute, such as the X position of a shape. Sometimes an attribute is dimmed. That means it needs enabling somehow. Usually there's a checkbox you can click to enable that option. Colour attributes can be set normally, or by double clicking on the swatch to see a colour editor. In addition to this, you can select the attribute row, and then use the colour window. You can also click swatches to set them, or drag them in. Dragging swatches also works for gradient colours. You can collapse a layer in the attribute editor by clicking on the disclosure button. You can also change the visibility of a layer from this header row. There is also a live mode which you may prefer to work in. When live mode is on, any selected layer will automatically load into the attribute editor. You can have a maximum of four layers loaded at any one time, though this can be changed in preferences. Finally, you can search in the attribute editor. Simply start typing in the search box.